Hello everyone, this is Xansham and this is part 13 of the World of Warcraft Let's Play. We are currently level 27 and we are doing Hillsbrad Foothills quests. For the next two minutes you're going to have some very repetitive footage of us just killing yetis for a long, long period of time. Um, so I'm just going to just say how I, what I was thinking while actually going for the cave. Now while going for the cave I was thinking yes I need to get to the yeti hearts because at the at the bottom of the cave there must be yetimus the massive like the free man group quest. However when I got to the foot of the cave and it went inside the cave I noticed there wasn't any yetimus massive thing so I thought oh I better leave the cave. Unfortunately, there is another quest that I managed to completely and utterly forget, which is actually tied to this cave system. It's the uh, it's the quest we need to collect three of this guy's equipment that is found throughout the Yeti cave. So the quest uh, regarding the the heart of the matter to collect um, the Yeti hearts is incredibly easy. Which means that, that you shouldn't kill any of the Yetis outside the cave because there's no point. Because you will have to kill way more Yetis than it will take to actually complete the quest in order to get, actually get to the guy's items. Yeah, up here I was expecting Yeti must to be here. He wasn't here. So this is the thing we need to collect. We need to collect Humbert's pants, Humbert's sword and I think Humbert's tabard. Um, they're found in all the different areas in this cave, but you will kill a ton of yetis in order to actually get to any of the items. Uh, it's a nice experience, I guess, but it is kind of humbus hell, not a tabard. But yeah, it's it's kind of a dull quest, to be honest. It's just a standard kill quest and a standard collect quest. In fact, it's not even a standard kill and collect quest because it's not even it's not even like a, an improved uh, cataclysm kill and collect quest because then the kill and collect quests aren't incredibly easy. This one is incredibly dull and you have to go through the entire cave system and kill every single yeti almost in order to collect the stuff and that's kind of annoying. Yes it is. And when you leave you still have to fight yetis on the way out because they will respawn. Now what I managed to do here was I was an idiot. I didn't know how to actually do my p uh, to actually control my pet properly. So I got owned incredibly easy. But I didn't actually, you know, think my uh, think in my head, oh, maybe my strategy is wrong. Maybe I'm not doing this whole pet tanking thing right. I decide, no, it's nothing to do with me, it's the spider's fault. It's nothing to do with anything I'm doing, or the fact I'm not using my abilities correctly, it's because a spider can't tank against a massive yeti. Which probably is true in real life, but um, yetis don't exist in real life, so it doesn't make any difference anyway. Uh, but yes, I decide, oh fuck this, it's because the quest is too hard, not that I'm being a complete spaz. Um, though probably, as you will learn when actually going through these um, these videos, you will actually find out that I only managed to narrowly, this is a spoiler, narrowly kill that thing while I was a much higher level. So yes, uh, I probably would have died there even if I had done that five times. Uh, though, to be honest, having two wipes just because I was a complete idiot didn't really help much either. I eventually learned how to pet tank slightly better, though I'm not completely... Um, completely confident in the ability to do that. I seem to lose aggro way too easily. Though I don't think I'm doing the entire tanking thing right. Um, I think we completed all the quests here, have we? Do we just need to clear, save two more hill fawns? And they are quite spread out. I don't understand why there are so few of them. This is the, probably the problem with having mobs eat them. They tend to not, you know, be around when you need them. But they eventually respawn and they start attacking each other and explode. So you just get some fun times. And then you just hand in all the quests back at Taran Mill, and that was four minutes. How the hell was that four minutes? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, hand in to her, and she apparently wasn't... That wasn't the reaction she was hoping for. I was thinking, because it went horribly bad, maybe she was like an evil blood elf, and uh, this was her horrible plan to take revenge on the hill or something. Maybe she just hate things cute. But no, she was just completely and utterly incompetent. And now we're going to start doing quests regarding the uh, the Alliance battle plans again. First off, what are we doing first? Oh yeah, we have to go to the stone... 
the Frostwolf um, camp here to ask for uh, aid from the Frostwolf clan. However, the aging Frostwolf clan leader, who is terribly sick and looks like to be on his last legs, is too proud and will never give aid to the undead. He sees them as a blight on the land and he would rather work with the Alliance than uh, work with the undead. Well, he doesn't actually say that, but I assume he probably would prefer to work with the Alliance over the undead if, if given a shotgun choice. Um, but... The orc guy here isn't too happy with the Frostwolf clan for... To be honest, he they're kind of being betrayed. They're kind of betraying the Horde and being treasonous. But uh, we still know where the Stormpike forces are. Which the Stormpike are the Dwarf faction in Alterac Valley. The Frostwolf are the orc faction in Alterac Valley. The um, Stormpike are the Dwarf faction. And they've got... Um, forward command posts and forward army recruitment center or forward army camps not recruitment centers having recruitment centers on the front line would probably be the dumbest thing in terms of army but no these are training grounds um forward attack battle plans uh, forward attack forward attack bases on the four pillars of or the four hills overlooking hillsbrad and we need to go over there and fuck shit up yes we did yes we actually do need to do that um i do manage to completely and utterly miss a quest though which means we'll have to actually come back here later where I missed uh, picking up a quest from that banshee woman which made these quests slightly harder than they needed to be okay the first quest means to detonate the pocket nuke at every single camp you need to, you need to um you need to detonate them in the campgrounds of the first three hills and in the, on the fourth hill you need to detonate it right next to the massive machinery that's powering the tanks or is at least um, refueling the tanks. I think it's supposed to be an oil refinery station. Um, you just put the pocket nuke there. The thing is, I don't understand this. If the uh, Horde have got nukes and the Alliance have got nukes, why aren't they constantly nuking each other? I mean, they obviously have the technology to have nukes, yet they have this medieval sort of tech it seems to be very very weird fantasy world where there are massive alien spaceships and people use like old time guns like first generation guns and there's no like space guns whatsoever it's kind of confusing I don't really know what time period why we're supposed to be sat in. There seems to be a mix of anything. So, do um, the, do the Alliance have nukes? Yes! The Alliance have holograph technology? Yes! Do they still do they have any milking technology? No, because that is out. That is way too far in the future for them. They have. It, basically, I think the Blizzard writers have. Do they have this thing? Is it funny or can it aid the plot in some way? Then put it in. Doesn't matter if they have the technology or not. They have it now. Like these are clearly steam powered, but yet they have nuclear bombs. Yet they don't have anything that could actually use nuclear. En well, I, that's probably further away than nuclear bombs. But still, the steam-powered tanks, when they could be, you know, oil-powered tanks, but they obviously aren't, so I don't, some, uh, I don't really care. Blizzard just can just make shit up if they want to. Um, this is the most difficult one. The reason it's the most difficult one is because I'm being an idiot. You actually have to pull the entire camp there, but the reason I have to pull the entire camp is because I don't have the buff, buff from the Banshee, which makes me, um, which makes me a disguise as a human, which means that they won't attack me, but now I ha almost die having to fight several mobs at once. I, I don't even get experience from it. You don't actually get any experience from these mobs. Which means I killed and I almost died for almost no reason. Because I really should have just picked up a quest because I'm an idiot for not picking it up. And even when I go back and actually hand in the quest, I don't actually notice the quest. Which is incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> which means I have to come all the way back here in order to actually finish the zone. And it kind of disrupts the flow of the questing, so I'm sorry for that in the actual video. Um, but this guy's happy that we handed the quest in anyway. Here we go. Um, we're going to level to level 28. Yeah, we are. we're level 28 now. And we get Freezing Trap, though I don't train Freezing freezing Trap. Because I'm too lazy, really, to go back to the city to order to get a Hunter Trainer. Yeah, that's basically the story um, of my time playing. I'm basically just too lazy to go back to actually get new abilities. Um... This is the new um, questing area. The orcs are just lounging, doing nothing, while the undead are doing all the work as per usual. Um, and the quest we're doing now is we're doing the Dernhall Challenge. This is supposed to be a group quest, but um, I did it solo. But I probably most classes could probably do it solo, unless they are kind of squishy, like a um, mage. A mage probably couldn't do this. 
I don't know why I keep picking mage to be my squishy class, but um, it really is at this point. Just send your pet in, just uh, let, you, let your pet soak up all the damage, just use men pet, and they, they'll all just go down in the end. You get a ton of experience, and you almost get a level from just doing these quests um, in the next video and this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope to see you in the next part of the Let's Play. Um, thank you for watching. If you want to like the video, please like. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. And if you want to comment, please comment. Thank you for watching. Peace out.